Hey Nelly Addicts, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new. It's Saturday and we are doing some stamping or at least attempting to. I woke up at about 2.30 this morning, jumped out of bed, went to my nephew slash nail room. If you know, you know why it's no longer my nail room anymore. It's only partly my nail room. So since my nephew wasn't here, I thought, let me go ahead and get some sleeping and nails done for this Saturday. I should have went back to sleep. When I tell y'all this was a struggle bus nail set, I thought this would be the perfect time to try this new stamper that I got that minimizes and enlarges the image. Okay, first of all, read the instructions, which I did not. I figured since I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos on it, I should be okay. So I got this stamper off Amazon, and it did come with a little instruction card. I really didn't see no need to read it, because like I said, I've been watching YouTube videos about minimizing and shrinking images, I should be able to do this with no problem. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so I tried to stamp the image and that went fine. What didn't go fine was the fact that it never did really shrink. You can see here I am twisting it and it pretty much looks the same size as it looked on the plate. I did not see the image go down any. And which is a problem because I wanted it to fit on this thumbnail. So I'm trying to maneuver this to see how I'm going to fit this in. And that happens. Yeah. I pushed so hard on the image that the stamper rubber piece actually came out of it. And I ended up using the rubber piece by itself without the casing <laughs> and put the rest of the hello part on the nail, which I didn't show here, but yeah. So I'm like, okay, so it comes apart pretty easily. Not to mention the fact that if you shrink it down, twist it too much, the top will pop off by itself. If you don't shrink it down enough, it'll pop off by itself. If you move it too much, it will come apart by itself. Pretty much no matter what you do, you're either going to be holding this thing in place the whole time, or you're gonna be okay with just using half of it. So once you twist the plunger up, if you twist it too far up, it will pop out of place. If you twist it too far down to shrink the image, it's gonna pop out of place. No matter what you did, it popped out of place. So then after it popped out of place, there was some type of sticky film I don't know if that was supposed to stay there and protect the plunger from plunging through the bottom of it but I tried to put the little sticky piece back on and I couldn't get it back on because I stuck it accidentally to the paper that I had on the table and once it got stuck that was it that was it so if that piece supposed if that plastic sticky piece supposed to be on there, oh there it is right there. Yeah, once again came right through the stamper and that piece is now stuck on the paper. I hope it wasn't supposed to be there to protect the bottom of the stamper because it's no longer there. Now that it's no longer there. I tried to be really careful with plunging it up and down because I don't want the plunger to go through the back of it 
and I was already frustrated with the fact that it wasn't actually shrinking or enlarging any of the images because I did try to enlarge an image um I want to say it's this triple pumpkin one I tried to enlarge it so it could fit almost to the top of the nail because I was using almond shaped nails this time and I didn't really see where that got any bigger either anybody who has a stamper like this please leave down in the comments some tips and tricks on how to use this thing and I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna invest in one from either Maniology or from Clear Jelly Stamper. I know they make one and it does cost a little bit more, but sometimes you do get what you pay for. I paid $6 and I got two of these from Amazon. And of course, the ones on Maniology and CJS are $12. Since it's Black Friday, they may be doing some sales, so this might be actually the time where might can go ahead and pick one up anyway uh, I was trying to attempt to do two sets of nails which one for one for each hand I was going to be using two different stamping plates but still using similar colors and I know that that didn't happen I ended up with only two out of five nails for my second hand. So I'm going to finish this one up first. And I'm going to just do a separate video for the other hand. So right now we're just going to go ahead and try to do these pumpkin slash autumn nails. They came out cute and I like them. I just, it just was struggling to try to get these the way I wanted them. I didn't necessarily have a plan. I just wanted them to be fall themed. And it seemed like even though when I do go in with the plan, it never goes according to plan anyway. So I erased, well I took off the first Hello Autumn image and I tried it again, so that was my second attempt. And as you can see, it actually went a lot better this time. You can actually get the whole word onto the nail. So it did shrink it enough for me to be able to actually see the image. And you can see here, it actually did shrink it some. I guess I got the hang of it and got the hang of not having it pop off I wasn't able to get the whole word autumn on there you can see it's kind of cut off a little bit but you can you can kind of make out what it says and I've seen this cute little image of a squirrel and I thought he would be really cute to fill in some of the blank spaces in between the words that I use for my nail free top coat because this one it is down to the last drop and when I tell y'all I was not gonna let that last drop go <laughs> I have the bottle turned completely upside down trying to get that last drop of nail polish out of this thing I I really need to just go ahead and break open my new bottle. It works so well with covering your images without smearing them. I literally, I'm a waste not, want not type of person. And 
if I have to sit there and literally turn this bottle upside down to get that last drop, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's what I did. And it was just enough to cover all five of the nails. Just barely enough. Nelly Addicts, I changed my mind and I decided to finish off the other three nails from the other hand. I had previously did two nails with some plaid that I was trying to make another video for, but the plaid gave me such a hard time with transferring onto the nail, that's why I didn't record it. So I decided to go back after our got this recording done and edited and I finished the other two nails with the same similar stamping as I had done previously and they match really well. What do you guys think about this plaid? I had a hard time getting that plaid on there. That's why you only see two of them. But I'm really happy with how they turned out. I used my sticky tabs to put them on my nail and this is the look thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great saturday bye